So just to start, you know, I think there's a big difference between a radiation oncologist in private practice and one that's in academics. And, you know, I, I'll speak more from uh, the private practice perspective because that's the, the route I chose, but I can probably give a little bit of insight on the academic path as well. Um, but I, I will say in private practice, <clears throat> you know, most days for me start at or about 7 a.m. I'm usually waking up about an hour, an hour and a half before that. The reason why we have to get there at 7 a.m. is that basically four out of five days we participate in different tumor boards. Uh, so for instance, there's a colorectal tumor board, there's a kind of general tumor board that actually at our, at our hospital we end up talking about a lot of pancreas cancer cases. There's a CNS tumor board where we talk about a lot of brain and spine cases. Um, there is a thoracic tumor board. There's a genital urinary tumor board. So we usually have a tumor board most days of the week at 7 a.m. Um, that usually lasts for about an hour. We discuss cases that are a little bit confusing and we want a multidisciplinary um, effort to try to figure out what to do next for the patient. Uh, then at eight o'clock, I usually start my clinic days. And the, the way that works is the way I've kind of broken it down is I like to have, uh, most days available for consults. Obviously, you know, radiation was well, not obvious and you, know, you guys may not know this, but you know, we're kind of a tertiary, tertiary cancer doctor, meaning that we don't see patients up front usually there was almost a hundred percent referral based the people who see cancer patients up front are usually the surgical oncologists and the medical oncologists and they kind of determine based on a lot of things but mostly uh ncc and guidelines you know if the a radiation oncologist is needed a lot of times um a ra radiation oncology or radiation has a, a primary role in treating cancer sometimes it's the best treatment um so we use to get sent from those two sources. So I try to keep the majority of my days open for consults. And you know, I basically see patients from anywhere from eight to about four or 5 p.m. Um, I do block off Wednesdays to see all of my follow-ups. I like to get those done basically uh, very quickly one day. I don't want that to kind of fill up a new patient space. Uh, and your follow-up visits are much shorter. Um, you know, for, for cancer patients, they're super important because usually what we're doing is we're following up on imaging to make sure that what we treated is actually gone. Um, but again, those visits don't take that much time because we've already worked up the case. Hopefully everybody's cured, which that obviously that's not always the case, but a lot of times, thankfully it is. Um, so that'd be one day and it's usually Wednesday for me. And then I think something that's a little bit different from a lot of other specialties with radiation is we have what's called on treatment visit day. Some people call it a weekly C day where we have patients that are on treatment. So, for instance, uh, the, the patient population I'm seeing now, 50% breast, about 20% GYN, um, and then the other 30% is kind of a smattering of, of other things like head and neck. Um, I have a few patients with brain tumors on, on, on my census. Um, so we're making sure that those patients are doing okay from a symptom perspective, and we see those patients once a week, more if needed, but we have to legally see them once a week. So that's either on treatment or, or weekly C day that I, I do on Fridays. Um, so that's kind of the, the basic outlook. You know, my, well, there's a group of four doctors in my practice. Uh, we just kind of alternate weekly call that's taking patient calls or accepting inpatient consults. Um, and that usually lasts for a week at a time. So that, that's, the base, that's the breakdown of my week.